Sup guys, this is a follow up video to my recent video why I use bad graphics in TF2 and I'm going to go over how to achieve my settings which are some of the lowest settings you can get in TF2. It's not the lowest settings possible but it's pretty close because the point of my config is to not just have the lowest settings just for the meme of it. I'm trying to maximize FPS and visual clarity with as few gameplay drawbacks as possible which you might find if you use the lowest settings. Now some of you might be wondering why I don't just drop my config in a Google Drive and let people download it. Well, it's because I want to teach people how to make their own configs, so they can find the settings that best suit them instead of copying me identically. Give a man a fish, he eats for a day. Teach a man to fish, he eats for a lifetime. And to all the people that already know how to install configs, here are all my settings on screen now. And to everyone else, this is what we are going to be going over today. So without further ado, here is how to make my config. We are going to be starting from the things that change your FPS the most and then working our way down. First thing to do is close TF2. If you have TF2 open, you should close it. Now head on over to the description and click on master config and then click on app. Select the low setting because very low is not good. Feel free to change any of these settings to your liking, but I keep all of them default except for one. I recommend changing the water setting to medium high because if you keep it on low, the water will just be black and you won't be able to see anyone swimming, which is not ideal. I know water's a rare element in maps, but like on pier and two fort, it's pretty noticeable. After that, for the add-on section, I'd recommend flat mouse and no tutorial. No soundscapes is also nice if you don't want any ambient sound, but it's not necessary. After that, click the download button. Where it says launch options, click to copy this line of text. Then go to TF2 in your Steam library. Right click, properties, and under launch options, paste those commands in. Now that we've done that, let's install the master config that we just downloaded. Open your downloads folder, or wherever you downloaded your master config files to. Right click on it, and unzip it. You can use WinRAR, 7-zip, or I think Windows just default can unzip files now. And now in the same window as the launch options, click on installed files, and then browse. It'll open up your file explorer to where TF2 is installed. So now I'm going to put my master config folder on the right, and my TF2 folder on the left. Open the CFG folders in both master config and TF2, and drag the overrides from master config into that folder. If you already have master config installed, just copy and paste the necessary modules from your new download to the old one. Now head back into the inside of the TF folder for both master config and TF2. If you don't see a custom folder in your TF2 already, then drag the custom folder from master config into TF2. If you already have a custom folder, open up both folders and then drag the contents from the master config into your TF2. And obviously, if you have previously installed a different master config preset, delete those as well. Congratulations, you have now installed master config. Up next, we have DirectX level. What DirectX is is basically, well, it's actually not important. What is important is that the lower your DX level is, the worse your game will look, and the more FPS you'll get. This is all of the different DX level settings in TF2. You may be inclined to use the worst one, DX80, but it's actually a lot more buggy and glitchy than DX81. It also crashes a lot more often, and they look practically the same, so we will actually be using DirectX81. To change your DX level, once again head into your Steam library and right click TF2. Properties, and then go into the launch options. Now type in dash DX level space 81, and then open your game. If your badge is now a white color instead of your normal one, that means it's working. Now close your game, and once again open up the launch options. Now remove the DX level line we just put in. Don't worry, it'll save your DX level. We are doing this because if you don't remove it, it actually causes performance issues. Congratulations, you have now changed your DX level. Now before we continue, I do have to say there are a few drawbacks from using DX80 and 81. First of all, you can't see your teammates' outlines when spawning back in. You can still see the name tags, just not the outlines. And secondly, you can't see war paints. So if either of these are deal breakers for you, just use DX level 90. Next up we have the LOD tweaks. And this next part of the tutorial is for Nvidia graphics cards only. I'm sorry guys, but I'll have a guide for AMD users in the description if you want to try it out. And if you have an Intel GPU, you're on your own. I couldn't find any reliable source explaining how to do this on Intel GPUs. So in the description, you'll find a link labeled LOD Bias, and it'll take you to this Google Drive. 
So this is actually a different guy's config named Clown. The only reason we're using this is because it has NVIDIA Profile Inspector, which is an old program used to do this next step. And I don't know where else to get it, and I know this works, so we're doing this. So click on the top right download button and then head to your downloads folder. Unzip the file. Now open it up and delete the TF folder. We don't need it because as I said, this is some other guy's config, and we're not here for that. Then head into the LOD tweak folder. Now open up NVIDIA Inspector. Click on the settings icon in the middle right of your screen, and then click yes on the pop-up. Navigate to the top left of the new window that popped up, and type in Team Fortress 2, and click on it. Once you're in, go over to the anti-aliasing tab, and click the drop-down for the bottom option, titled Transparency Super Sampling, and select AA Mode, Replay Mode All. Then head on over to Texture Filtering, and find the setting titled Texture Filtering LOD Bias. It should be somewhere in the middle. Click on the drop-down, and then click on 15. Once you've changed these settings, click Apply, and then wait for the settings to change, which may take some time. Congratulations, you have now installed my config. But before you leave, there are more settings I'd like to tell you about. There is a way to make your lighting look extremely blocky looking. Personally, I don't use this option, but I feel obligated to tell you that it exists. It's done by using these commands on screen, and it's pretty fun to look at, I'm not gonna lie. But if you ever want to go back to normal lighting, just turn these values back to 1, and you should be fine. Well, that's all I have for you guys. If you ever want to undo the changes, just do everything I told you in reverse. Change your LOD settings back to 0 and off, change your DX level back to 95, and delete master config from your custom folder. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. More videos on the way, and I will see you next time.